Turtle Island, um, you're going to hear why this program is so named in just a few minutes. Um, you, if you're holding a program book, you may have gotten an insert, and on this insert is a change in tonight's personnel from when we first printed our program. Our scheduled baritone, Justin Austin, got injured. He had two terribly herniated discs in his back. He's still lying flat on his back in New York. He had to cancel everything. But we were really fortunate to find Mark Billy, who's with us tonight. He learned this role in uh, the role of Standing Bear, which you're going to hear. It's a, uh, the third thing on your program. Um, he learned it in one week. And I am so grateful to Mark for coming here. He's a a young, a young artist, and we're so grateful that he's coming here to make his debut. So there's his bio, and you can have a look. Uh, and now I'd like to introduce tonight's uh, curator, and he's going to lead us through this entire program. His name is Timothy Long. I uh, met him, uh, we're debating about that, but it was at least 25 years ago. We've been colleagues for a, a really long time. I've heard him conduct even at the Utah Opera and uh, all over the place. He runs the opera program at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York, and I'm, we've been working on this program all year. He has chosen this music, he has chosen the composers, and he um, has created this whole thing. I'm so grateful to him. Please welcome to the stage, Timothy Long. Uh, Timothy Long, and I'm very happy to be here. Um, I'm very grateful to the festival for having me, and uh, we're, you're in for a great program tonight. One of the things that I wanted to highlight with this program is the diversity of Native people. So often in society, we're grouped into one great monolith, but we are so diverse, and you're going to hear that tonight, because none of the music sounds alike. It, it's completely different from one another. Uh, to tell you a little bit about me, I am from Oklahoma originally. I grew up on the Creek Nation. I'm half Muscogee Creek from the Thotoko tribal town, and I'm half Choctaw. Um, enrolled citizen of Muscogee Nation in the Thotoko tribal town. And to tell you just a little bit of this stuff, because we don't talk about this a whole lot, we have a clan system as well, and I'm from the Wolf Clan. My father was a Wutko, which is a raccoon, and my grandfather, believe it or not, was a sweet potato. And so we hold all of these things holy. <laughs> and I think many people will join me with the sweet potato part, at least. Um, so, you know, when we started talking about this program, we had to come up with the title. And um, I just think this is such a ripe time for Native Americans in society. We've seen Joy Harjo as the first U.S. poet laureate, a Native American poet laureate from the Muscogee tribe, I'm proud to say. And Joy just ended her three-year term as poet laureate. We have Sterling Harjo, if you've seen Reservation Dogs on Hulu on FX, also Muscogee Creek and Seminole. He's from my hometown, having great success. We see Deb Holland, and we see so many people out there. Yes, exactly. Go Alaska. <laughs> We just had an election in Alaska. We have our first Alaska native who beat Sarah Palin. I like you guys. Yes, exactly. And you know, another one that is out there that we just love and, and I've known him for a few years is Raven Chacon, who was Navajo and won this year's Pulitzer Prize in composition. I'm very proud of Raven. So the idea of Turtle Island, a lot of native cultures look at Turtle Island as North America. Some would say the world, but I, I look at it as North America. There are several different versions of this story, but one of them comes from the Haudenosaunee people where the sky woman falls to the earth, which was uh, looked at as an island of water in the universe at that point. Sky woman falls into the earth and all the animals start digging down to try to build something for the sky woman and they bring up dirt from the bottom of the sea, and a turtle comes up first, bringing dirt, and then the other animals come and start piling dirt on top of the turtle. The turtle starts growing and turns into the continent of North America. So we are currently on Turtle Island ourselves, 
and we're all visitors to Turtle Island, of course, and um, I, I'm just going to guide you through a little bit of, of my own native story as this evening progresses. Um, we all have very different stories. If you went to the panel, I think it's fascinating to hear how different we are from one another. Um, so, as I was saying, with all the success of Native people and the fact that we're on Turtle Island, I thought what a perfect title it would be to have Sunrise on Turtle Island because I think this is truly a sunrise on our people asserting their place in society. Um, before we get going, I want to teach you a couple of Creek words, though. Very, very important words to know. So, you know, I grew up in the, in the Creek Nation. I'm the first generation to have English as a first language. So my parents raised me to be very outspoken. Therefore, they didn't teach me certain English words, so I wouldn't embarrass them, basically. So I didn't know a lot. I really, I didn't say the word fart until I was like 18, because we just didn't. The word is hokshi. Doesn't it sound like it? Um, <laughs> The word in Choctaw is hoksa, which is worse to me. Uh, so, so a couple of things I'm going to teach you. Here's one. It's, it is chokochita. And if I break it down, we say chokochita. Now try to say it with me. Chokochita. That means where is the bathroom? And we always need to know that, of course. And the other one that my father always used to say on a day like this is hey ye yafkidongo. Let's try that. I'll break it down. Hey ye Yafkidongo. Okay, let's say it together now. Hey, ye yafkidongo. That means, boy, isn't it hot today? <laughs> and that is so true. So here we are with this wonderfully diverse program. It's so rare that we see an entire program on a concert by Native American people. And I'm starting with my own piece here. So I've written two miniatures for piano and they're meant to be together. I have bookended them on this concert, so they're very short pieces, um, and I'm actually reversing them. You see them on the program, they're Creek words. Uh, the first one I'm going to be playing is called Hilis Kasabi, and Hilis Kasabi is ceremonial medicine, and often when we're doing um, native events, you know, we'll often have smudging or some sort of a purification ritual. So Hilis Kasabi is meant to sort of start the piece with the whole evening with good energy, the final piece I'll be doing is called Tokka, which is for fire. And fire, again, is this energy that brings so much to us. So the first piece, Hilis Kasabi. Mm -hmm. 